I believe it was the fall of 2014 when our, the bond measure passed. With my background in STEM education and having done research in that, uh, we just thought, okay, if we're gonna build something, we need to build it to really bring out, I guess you can say, the talent and the learning and really preparing our students um, as a 21st century learner. The design of the campus really focused on the challenges of the climate within Eastvale. It's hot, it's windy, we really wanted to make sure that we could create optimal experiences for both indoor and outdoor. In this time, coming out of Zoom, coming off of virtual, we didn't know how things are going to be. We're still adjusting. but. The building was initially made so that students could get together and really collab and, and work together and bounce ideas off each other. And now what's happening is that, yes, that does take place, but there is therapy that's happening outside. Just to be able to be inside and look outside and see people, see other students, to see that you are in a group of like-minded individuals, there's healing that's taking place because of that. It took some of climbing out of the box and going into a new space and realizing that it's going to be school in a very different way. And the ways that we had always done some of the things we've done in the past, we have to change those. We have to make them new to fit the new space. And then after that first year of kind of adjusting or maybe six months, uh, realizing the positives that we now have because of the space and activities and ways that we can teach that we couldn't teach in our previous space. We really tried to create a process that was authentic to STEM. You know, it was nonlinear and it was attacking a problem from all angles to really um, understand. We started out with meeting business and industry needs. And right now, uh, even when we were building the building, when you look at the, uh, the labor market needs in the area, um, you're talking manufacturing, logistics, and uh, health and medical sciences. These are, are very high profile, uh, labor intensive needs out there right now. The design of the building really helps you feel connected to your classmates, um, regardless of what age they're in even, because you're all different grade levels, all different classes, but you're all kind of together, even though you're apart. Um, you can see everybody, whether you're on the top floor, you can wave to your friends at the bottom, you can see your friends in class even as you walk by. Um, there's, you run into people in the hallways, It's it's, because there's so many people and the building is layered with the floors, you're always, there's always people to see. You can always see your friends. You don't feel herded. When, when things are more personable, um, it's a lot easier to feel comfortable and want to you know, push your comfort zone. If you don't really, you're not understanding something, you can ask your friends for help. You can ask people who even you don't know so much for help because of uh, the, that community feel that the building gives everything. What we really saw in the post-occupancy was that the space supports a diverse learning system. It supports dynamic learning environments, it supports choice, and it's really in a real-world setting that makes this possible for students to visualize their future. And now, when I walk in here every day, the feeling that we got when we were designing, um, it's here. When I walk into the quad, um, you can't help but smile. It's fancy, you know? And it's not something that you, you actually think um, when, you're, when the goal is to build a school, that, okay, it's gonna be this entity that is larger than life. It's, it breathes on its own.